So in interacting with some of these uh, simulation theory groups that I try to, because my whole concept, right, the simulation source code based off of simulation theory, but including some kind of source energy. As a, I use the term God sometimes, but I recognize that it has a lot of connotations. When you use that word, people often go towards the biblical or the Jewish God, right? And that's, and, and they get heated about it. They get angry. They swear at you. <laughs> it's, it's interesting. The, the straight refusal to accept some kind of, well, I know the refusal has to do with the conditioning and programmation that we've received, right? And it's understandable. Understandable. So in this, I want to try to explain my concept of God. Which, so, when we look at our senses and how they work, right? We're taking in sensory data, information, and it goes through the nervous system through electrochemical reactions, right? Key point, electrical. So we're taking in frequencies and our central nervous system, our brain translates it into some kind of experience. Now, if we look at that a little bit deeper, we're taking in light and sound. We could say that sound's just another dimension of light. It's all just frequencies at varying intensities. Uh, and we're taking in this light and translating it into experience. Now, what does that remind you of, right? Taking light and molding it into some kind of form. It sounds like a hologram. So that would make perception a holographic phenomenon. Now, it's a holographic phenomenon, but we have influence over it, right? Perspective, how you choose to look at things influences how you translate things, right? Simple point is, is life working for you or against you? Are things happening to you or for you? Optimism, pessimism, right? We have, we have choice in how we want to perceive this holographic perception and whatever it presents to us, right? Because that's random. That's the God aspect, right? The source energy. It's two and one, right? The two become one. So to try to take this further, uh, I look at the Trinity and I've tried to explain it. I've tried to explain this before, but my interpretation of the Trinity is that, right? There's the observance of imagination, just like a daydream. When you daydream, there's things that present itself and you mold a specific experience, right? You daydream about being a good singer or an artist or in a band or something, right? You, you're daydreaming this scenario and you're playing it out within your mind. There's the imagination, which I look at it as spirit, the observer, which is the masculine, right? The presence, there's a presence observing something happening. And then there's a character that's created within that daydream scenario, right? That manifested scenario. So the two become one, the observer, the presence observing the play of imagination creates the character within the imagination. So the two become one, father, mother, son of God. Right? So we're all children of God, a fractal, right? Because we have our own ability to daydream scenarios. And our reality is just another greater, bigger fractal of that happening. Right? We're all individual, novel expressions or experiences of certain types of dreams. But we have the ability to right, control. Is it for us? Is it against us? Do we want to take action towards experiencing a specific thing? Right? Just like in a daydream, you can change what you're daydreaming about. If you're tired of the country and you can always leave. Yeah, there's difficulties, there's different things, but you can influence it. You can change it. And so it's as God as the ether, right? the stuff. The three become one, but it's, it's the stuff, the energy, the... Yeah, the energy that allows for the creation or the solidification of imagination into experience. And so it's not an entity, which many people, like even this current guy I'm talking to, like, oh, entity or creator, but then creator still implies it, some type of entity. But no, it's all an inside job, right? You're interpreting light into a specific experience to learn and grow through. And the God aspect is just the stuff that allows that experience, right? the presence, the observation of experience and the experience itself, both are one. So anyways, I felt like just kind of sharing that. Hopefully it made some kind of sense. Um, but yeah, 
you know? And it's like, this is an experiential thing, right? If you actually sit and forego your distractions, social media, video games, movies, going out and doing things, right? The whole idea of like being a monk in the mountain type for a time, but sitting with yourself and observing, what is this? What's going on? Strange things start to happen, right? If you actually let go and even the distraction of mind and thoughts and that imagination, that daydreaming, let go of all those distractions. What's going on? Trace your perception back to the source. It's, it's an inside thing and it's something that you can experience. And it's not, again, we're conditioned to be dependent on an external authority to tell us what's true, be it science, be it religion, be it education, academia, academia, or any of these external authorities of truth. But no, it's all, it's all a distraction to keep you from your own inner truth. That you are a co-creator, right? It's a solidification of the collective imagination. Hence the whole war, right? The spiritual war that's going on over information, right? The war on information. It's for that purpose, right? The more individual gods that you can influence their thoughts and emotions in a specific way, you can create a specific reality. And that's what we're freeing ourselves from, right? That's part of this time period. That's part of what's going on. That's part of all this revelations of things. Politics, the monetary system, the Federal Reserve, the different conspiracy theories out there. But all conspiracies lead to spiritual spirituality eventually, right? That it's just you and your imagination playing out. Mirror principle. All these things. Anyways, hopefully helpful. Got something out of it. Let me know. Thanks. Till next time.